Alright, I'm just gonna make this super brief. This is the totally serious guide to all new gacha servants coming out to FGO and NA this year, but as I don't really get care for gameplay, and yes, you can call me a hypocrite because I have made many gameplay tier lists, I'm gonna give you reasons that should matter more for summoning your waifus and husbandos. If I forgot someone, which I probably did, I'm sorry, and I hope YouTube won't demonetize this video since last time I did one of these I went too honky on the pictures, but I'll do it again anyway. Okay, let's go. Meme review. Yang Guifei. She's very hot. In fact, she's so hot, she will make your phone melt with her MP. Say Shonagon. You wanted to do your console but can't? Try this one. Oh wait, she's still just a picture. Oh well. Odysseus. If you like your Jojo boob windows, then he's got you covered. Sadly does not come with a cool helmet. Dioscuri. I'm not gonna lie, Pollux is super hot, but the fact that she drags her brother along with her everywhere is a no-go for me, dog. Unless you are into a three-way and manage to convince Castro to be okay with it, which is probably unlikely. Canis. Let's be real, if you are a Mordred fan, you are probably into Canis too, and I don't blame you, I would not mind letting her kick my ass. Roma. Or should I say... <laughs> If you want your Kintuki to get a new best friend, summon for grand gold. Voyager. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Koyo Kijo. Oh god, what is that? Why would anyone in their right mind be interested in... Mommy? S sorry, uh, mommy? S sorry, uh, mommy? Castoria. Congratulations, Arturia fan number 3078, you can now complete your support list. Summer Kiara. Are you into girls in bikinis? Are you into girls in lewd police getups? Are you into girls with... um... sure. Well, here's the perfect value pack for you. Summer Abigail. I didn't think they could make her outfit even more hazardous than the foreigner version. But they somehow did it. Also, Summer Brin. If you appreciate cute things and don't mind being a third wheel, this Summer Megane Goddess is a top choice. Summer Ilya. Okay, she's pretty cute. Surely there's no way they could ruin it by overly sexualizing. God damn it, not again! Summer Tomoe. Consoles from earlier weren't your thing? No worries, this year has VR too. Summer Murasaki. As much as I like the librarian Booba, my arachnophobia makes me a nope here. Himiko. If you are a fellow appreciator of the good culture, this is it right here, my dudes. She even gives you a perfect view. What more do you need? Saito. Slay I don't actually know anything about Devil May Cry. I just wanted to look cool for you guys. For me, he's still a solid plus one for my Shinsengumi collection. Nobukatsu. He's a dude. Yep. A dude. But it makes it way better, baby! Nemo. No, not that one. Okay, stop drooling. He's for navigation purposes only. Van Gogh. Wow, what a cute little girl. She seems really nice and friendly. This is why I have trust issues. Doman. Watanabe. Yeah, we get it. You like K-pop. Or maybe you just have a thing for severing arms. I'm not gonna judge. Ibuki. What the hell were they thinking? Mommy? So okay, I'm not gonna do that again. Ritra. You didn't know you had a thing for tattoos, but now you do. You're welcome. Alright, that's uh, 2022. Press like if you aren't rolling only for gameplay's sake and subscribe for more shitty guides.